Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Cassandra cluster server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Cassandra cluster which is set on default settings. So simply click continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this product page from where after accepting the subscription validation, you can click on continue to configuration. And then from this page, simply choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And when satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you have two options to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So I'm going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. So that should open up a new tab with EC2 management console. And on this page, we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as CC, which stands for Cassandra cluster. And then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair to log into the SSH terminal by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one and then leave the network settings as default and then click on launch instance and then you need to wait for the deployment process to complete once the deployment is done you can simply click on view all instances now this instance in the pending state is our newly created virtual machine so wait for it to change its state from pending to running. Now in the running state, we can move on to the next step, which is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. And then from the SSH client tab, simply copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. And then you need to replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. Now after replacing the path, simply hit enter. And if you are prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. So that should allow the command prompt to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. Now inside the SSH terminal, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to check the status of our cluster. For that, simply type in the command node tool space status and then hit enter. Now as you can see that we have a cluster at this particular address. Now the way to connect to nodes or to clusters is by using the CQL shell. So the command is CQL SH. And then you need to type in the address of the node or the cluster. So I would type in 127.0.0.1 and then hit enter. Now I've successfully logged in and as you can see the name of the cluster is test cluster. By default the cluster is set to test cluster. Now if I want to change this name I need to do two things. The very first thing is that I need to change the name using this as SQL shell and then I need to change the name from the configuration file as well. So to change the name from the shell Simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post and from here you're going to copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then you're going to replace this field for the cluster name. So I'm going to call my cluster as XYZ and then hit enter. Now to change the name from the configuration file simply type in the command exit to exit from the SQL shell and then to open up the configuration file type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash cassandra forward slash cassandra.yaml and then hit enter. Now as you can see the very first entry is the name of the cluster. So simply change it to the name that you have put in using the CQL shell which was XYZ and then control O hit enter control X to save and exit from the file and now what you want to do is that you want to apply that configuration. So to apply the configuration you need to restart the services of Cassandra. So type in the command sudo systemctl restart Cassandra and then hit enter. After that, your configuration settings have been applied. Now to check this, we can again connect to the cluster using the SQL shell command and the address is 127.0.0.1 and then hit enter. So now you can see that the cluster name is XYZ. Now let's see how we can add nodes to our cluster or have multiple nodes to our cluster. So basically the way to add node is to change the configuration file. So if I open up the configuration file once more, which was sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash cassandra forward slash cassandra dot yaml and then hit enter in here you can see that we have multiple entries such as cluster name number of tokens allocated tokens and so much more but what we want to do is that we want to search for seeds now seeds is a common delimited list of addresses and each address represents a node so if i want to add in another node i would simply put a comma double quotation marks and within those double quotation marks i would type in the address of our node so let's say we have a node 
at the address 128.1.1.1 and the port range is 5000. So we can just simply add that over here, Control O to save and Control X to exit the file and then we need to apply the configuration once more. So sudo systemctl restart Cassandra. So that is going to add a new node or the second node to our cluster. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.